Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my home kit home back again with another one for you. In this video we'll be looking at how to perform a factory reset on the Kugi Smart Fingerprint Lock. Now this is a pretty unique device in the home kit world and as such it has a pretty unique way of resetting it. So what we'll do is we'll look at how to remove it from your home kit setup and we'll look at how to perform a soft and then a hard reset of the device. So let's get into it. Here we are in the KuGeek app and what we'll do is we'll track down the lock and we'll long press on the tile there. We'll tap on details at the bottom center of the screen there. Scroll all the way down until we see remove accessory. We'll tap on that, confirm, and as you can see, not only does it remove it from the KuGeek app, but also from Apple's home app. So now let's look at how to perform a soft reset. So we'll use the included reset pin there, or SIM tool as you want to call it. And when the bottom of the device will kind of pry open the little rubberized cover for the micro USB port and the recess, reset button. And we'll insert it into the small recessed port at the bottom there. And from any unlocked position, right? It needs to be an unlocked position. We'll insert the pin and hold the button down for five seconds until we get a slow flash, just like that. And once we've got that slow flash, that means it has been removed from HomeKit so we can re add it. So this is useful for any troubleshooting that you may need to do. Now, if we want to remove all of the fingerprints from the device, this would be what I'm calling a hard reset. So we'll insert the pin for eight seconds until we get the rapid flash. We'll get another flash there. And all of the fingerprints have in fact been removed from the device. And as you can see there, my left thumb actually opens the device. So any fingerprint at this point is going to open the device. And you can add fingerprints as you so desire. And we've got another video that I'll link up in the iCard above and in the description box for how to do that. Well, that about does it for this video. If you found it useful, please give us a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and the bell notification so you don't miss any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Well, that about does it for this one. Until next time, this has been Dustin with my home kit home.